So to make this end piece, we need to bend a couple of bits. So with your fingers underneath, supporting here, we're going to push upwards with these fingers. Just going to push that one up. This one here wants to fold down. Turn it around. Same again. This one goes up. This one goes down. Okay, it should form that sort of shape. Now, this is the opposite. So with this one, we're going to they're going to fit together like that. Okay. So now let's get the dowel rods. We're going to start to put these together. We we'll take the first piece. Doesn't matter which way up it goes. And we're going to start to insert the dowels. So insert it through there through here. If we take the other one, make sure it's the same way up. Insert that through there. And you might need to just squeeze and manipulate that so that fits together. You can now rotate that round. I'm going to put the second one on. Okay, and now just to support that and hold it together, make it into a little quick release module, we're going to take a rubber band and we're going to wrap it around twice. Like me, you want things to look neat and tidy. You can just shimmy those together. There we go. That part's ready to go. We now need our linkages and the opposite end all attached together. So let's get that done. So with this part, I'm going to bend this wing back, this wing back, that back as well. And just be careful when you bend this one back, support it underneath and bend that one back. There we go. Now, these ones move in more at an angle, whereas these go sideways, like that. Okay, so now we can start to assemble things. This is very exciting. We can take this part here, and we're going to insert it into here. So we can see what we're doing. There you go. <coughs> I'm going to put the bottom one on now as well, and let's put this to the side. That, that piece up, and that goes all the way through to the other side. There we go. You see that side, and that side. You'll find there's two different types. One that's got a hole in, and one that hasn't. The one with the hole goes at the bottom. So it's going to slide this one on the top, this one at the bottom, and just let those droop for now. And now it's time to get our syringe full of fibre washers and we need to start using those. So we'll put them somewhere safe, um, but let's get them out of there. So to do that, we're just going to pull the syringe all the way open. Same on the other side. Also going to need our O-rings. Need our O-rings inside here. So let's put them somewhere sensible. Great. Now, let's get the other end fixed up. This part that we already made, it's going to go with the angle uppermost. Let's slot this on. We're going to put fibre washers and O-rings on there too.
So now, now we're getting close to attaching the hydraulics. Start making these control arms. There's a lot of folding to do. And the best way this is going to work out is if we score these, these lines down here. So we're going to do that now with our ruler. Now we've scored these and we've started to fold the flaps up, what we want to do is fold this end flap onto its next door neighbour. And it's really important again to make sure that these holes are lining up. So we're going to start to fold it over. I'm lifting up a little bit, you can see, because I want to squash it down. And as best I can, get those holes in alignment. Okay, now we're going to glue on the inside of here before we repeat the same thing on this other side. And then we're going to go and do this side next. Any extra glue that squidges out the side like this, we're going to want to quickly get that away. because when we fold this up, we need that edge to be clear. Okay, it should look something like this now. Uh, you've got the two sides folded over, and now we're gonna bring those sides together, and that forms this sort of U-shape trough. Now, we're gonna to wanna to put some glue down each of these channels, bring it together, and then you, can't, you want this to be parallel, so you want to squeeze that together a little bit. This time, it doesn't matter if the glue squidges out, um, that can just stay there. So make sure you hold this until it's nice and dry. If necessary, give it a blow to cool it down quicker. There we go. Repeat this with the other piece and then you'll have parallel. two. Next up in step nine, we'll be building the hydraulic system.